Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at Form 2 Mathematics. And our topic for today is indices and logarithms. And our subtopic will be anti-logarithms from the mathematical table. So we are going to look at the steps of getting the anti-logarithm values from the tables. Anti-logarithm is usually the reverse of logarithm and we can do so using the um, anti-logarithm tables but most of the mathematical tables that we have do not have those tables but we can use the logarithm tables to get um, the anti-logs. So what you do is just a reverse process. We move from in inside to the outside. I'm going to show you how we do that step by step. So you start with this value, we pick a value that is uh, smaller, so 0 0.5490. So what you are looking for in the table is 5490. Where we are going to look is inside, and it should be inside the section of 0 to 9. So that is where we are going. So you go to where we have 54. So we have 5328 to move across. So we have 5403 here. So we want 5490. So we have 5428. We have 5490. We found it. So the 5490 is along, if you move along the row to the column of X, you get that it's on. 3.5 and then if you go up the column it's on value 4 which is our second decimal place so it means that the logarithm of 3.54 is 0 0.5490 so the antilog is 3.54 so that is the answer to the question. This is very direct. Sometimes you may not always get direct values or you may have values that are more than 0. Point. So for example, when you get such a value, remember when you are looking at the logarithm, we said this is the same as 10 power 0. 0.6107 times 10 power 2. This is what we did in the previous lesson. So we are going to be looking for the antilog of 6, 0 0.6107 and we multiply it by 10 power 2. So let's do that. So we will go inside the logarithm tables. We will go to where we have 6107. So we do have 6 uh six zero we go to six one zero seven you get it on the table so you move across the row to uh the values of x which gives us four point zero and then you go up which gives us eight and then you multiply this is supposed to multiply with ten power two since we are not doing the logarithm you're going back this is the same as four point zero eight times a hundred which gives us 408. So the antilog of 2.617 is 408. Let's do another question. So we have 3.5026. So if we if we show this from what we got from logarithm, it means it's 10 power 0 0.5026 times 10 power 3. This is what we got. So we are going back, so we are looking for what we had initially be before we got this. So we are getting 0 0.5026 from the logarithm table. So we go to where 50 is inside the table. So we have 5024. We do not have 5026. So we are picking the value that is close. If you look at 0 0.5026, if you subtract 0 0.5024, we get a difference of 2. So we will pick that value on that row in the value of x, which is 3.1. But now on the difference, that's where we get to the add 
section. When you get to the add, we do not have a place we can get that difference of two because we have three in the case of two and one. So we can pick either. So we pick the one that is closest. We can pick 3.1. We forgot another value, 1, 8. It's on top, 1, 8, 1. Or we can pick 3.182. So if you pick 3.181, one, it gives us 0 .0, 0 0.0, 0 0.5025, because it's 0 0.024 plus 1. If we pick uh, 3.18, we give us 0 0.502 plus 37. So you see our values are in between. So if we work with 3.181, it's going to be 0 0.3.181 times 10 power 3, which gives us 3,181. If we pick 3.182, it's 3.182 times 10 power 3, which gives us 3,182. Either will get you the answer in the exam. So don't write both of them. Pick one, either 3.181 or 3.182. Let's do this question. In this case, you can see our value has a bar. So this reminds us when we were doing the logarithm, we said for the bar means that the characteristic or the whole number is the one that is only negative. The other decimal place is not negative. So if you were to show that this was like 10, point, 10 power 0 0.3031 times 10 power negative 2. This is what we had so that we can add together and get this value. So if we check from our tables 3031 inside. So let's go to 30. So we have 3032, that's not enough, 2989. So we have 3010, we have 3032. This is the closest. We say that you pick the one that is closest. So this goes to 2.0, uh, 2.01. So if you look at the 0. Uh, 3032 and 0 0.3031. The difference is 1. We don't have that difference in our next column. So we will pick the closest one, which is 2. So it is going to be 1. So it's going to be 2.011 because 1 has a difference of 2, not 1. We said you pick the one that is close. So it's going to be 2.011 times 10 power negative 2, which is the same as 2.011 times 1 over 100, which is the same as 2.011 divided by 100, which gives you, if you move one decimal, you cancel. If you move this decimal again, you can 0.02011. So that brings us to the end of antilogarithm. I hope you have been able to see how we get the antilogs. Either you have the characteristic as positive of, or negative, you are still able to work it out. So if you want more questions on the same, you can check out in the app and also notes on the same. So see you in the next lesson.